Hey, what is up, guys? It's Crimson Red here, and today I got another Smash 4 gameplay for you. Now, the reason I'm so excited about beating a Bayonetta is because, like, for some reason, all the new DLC characters, like when it comes to um, Cloud and Bayonetta, to me, they just seem overpowered and, like, too much. So when I actually beat Bayonetta, it was probably, like, the best thing ever. But the reason, you know, that I'm even more excited about it is because I beat it with a character that I never used before. I never played Marth in Smash 4 yet. And for some reason, I picked Marth because I was watching some Smash um, Melee, and I was watching, like, Mewtwo King and all that stuff. And I'm just like, you know what? Why not just use Marth? And I did, and um, I beat Bayonetta with a character that I never used, so now I said to myself, I'm going to main Marth, like, he's going to be top three-ish now. Um, I might replace him with Mario, because he's the only character that, one, I beat Bayonetta with, and I haven't even used him. That was the first time using him, I just had to assume during the match, I'm like, okay, so maybe his side B is, you know, um, the way that he helps recover and all that stuff, and just like, yeah, I don't know any of his smashes, it, you know, this one would be good on this time, and it's not like I was fighting a bit bad Bayonetta, because this person was really good, um, but yeah, I finally beat a Bayonetta, and this is probably, I, like, I was so excited, I beat Bayonetta, and I'm just like, yo, I'm saving this to a replay, um, but the first match here is gonna be Mario versus Sonic, um, I'm Sonic, of course, and, um, he kinda SD'd, um, at the first time, so I'm just like, okay, and then, um, he kinda does it the second time, but, um, it, it's, it's strange, you'll, you'll see soon, right here, like, he, he kinda, yeah, he just ruined himself, and, and I'm a taunt, um, I, I was, that was an asshole move, but, um, you're gonna watch the Bayonetta versus Marth next, which is, you know, like I said, I'm the Marth, and I also saw the white one as, as well, and the reason I picked the white one is because during, I forget what I was watching. Pretty sure I was watching the Smash documentary, which was like eight hours long when they were all put together. And there's this one guy, um, they, were, they were actually a team and they were called Husband and Wife. Um, and the reason that they named themselves that is because one was Peach, one was Marth. But the guy wasn't gay or anything like that. It was just, you know, because the one was Peach, one was Marth. They're just like, yeah, why not husband and wife? And the one guy um, had a white Marth. So I'm just like, you know what? I'll make mine white. And look, look, he's like, see, Bane is just so cheap. Like, give somebody witch time like that? Like, what the hell? And then, you know, this, the up air to the side Bs and all that stuff. Um, but there's a lot of SDs in this game or throughout this video. Because I'm pretty sure this Bayonetta SDs. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how I get the first stock. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I... Yeah, right there. She just SDs. I'm just like, oh. And then I'm just like, okay. She SD'd. I need to freaking win this now. Because I never beat a Bayonetta. I'm like, I need to win. So, um, also then I realized parries. Parries are great. You know, I always complain about parries. And I'm just like, well, you know what? If you can't beat him, join him. So I just decided to do parries a lot as well because that would help. And was that an up smash or, or uh, up air or down air? Because whatever that was, that was really powerful. And I'm just like, okay. So right here, I'm just, I need, like, I'm, I'm so focused on winning. Because right now I'm in the percentage lead. Um, and he, I did the up air twice where it was like the worst time to do it. And he actually didn't punish me which was, um, you know, strange, but hey, better, better for me, but yeah, I'm just like, I need to win this now, because if I don't, and look, look at, look how much that does, like, they did the witch time, they did the side B, and then the up smash, and I'm just like, that's cheap, you know how many times you can do a witch time, and then just do, like, a smash attack, it's crazy, and look, now I'm not even percentage percentage lead probably because of so many witch times um it was just crazy and you know i'm like trying my hardest right now and i almost gave up towards the end but then i'm like you know i need to do this like no matter what i need to do this and the way that i kill her was actually just kind of strange um you'll see in a second actually i'm pretty sure 
Um, but, you know, right here, I'm just, like, tr hoping for something. Uh, she was hitting me up here and there, and I'm just like, you know, I cannot lose this match. And, uh, because I used to lose to Clouds all the time. I, I lost to Bayonetta's all the time. I'm like, I need to prove something. So, I'm just waiting. I'm taking my time. Um, make sure that I don't, you know, roll into anything stupid. Or do anything stupid as well. Um, so I'm just waiting. And I'm trying, I'm like, hoping that I get lucky and charge a smash. And right here, I forget who I was playing with, but her forward throw would always kill my people so i'm just like i'm scared and right here she just kind of jumped into my forward smash and i had to taunt i really had to because i'm like yes i finally beat a damn bayonetta so i was so excited about that one um but no her forward throw i forget who was i think i was pl actually playing sonic um and for some reason her forward throw just killed my sonic at like a hundred like it's not like it was i was at like 150 200 or anything like a super high amount now it's just at a hundred and all, all she did was just forward throw me, and I died. I'm like, really? Like, I don't know if that was just bad DI on my part, or what the hell that was. Um, but right here, I'm fighting a Sheik, and um, there was this one kid. I remember this now. Um, it wasn't him, but beforehand, there was this kid, and you could either... He, you know, didn't know how to play the game, or he just got the game, and he just started getting in the Smash, because... Um, I beat him every game, and it's not like, you know, like here, you know, we're really close stocks, you know, it was a close game. Now, I, I too stocked this kid pretty much every game, and, um, I didn't really want to post it because, you know, I, I at least want to post stuff that looks like, you know, it's a great fight, you know, it's going back and forth, not, you know, I'm absolutely destroying this kid, you know. I have like 20% and then I two, two stocked him 20%. You know, I really didn't want to do that. Um, but if I do get two stocks, like I think I actually get a two stock in this game. But, you know, look at my percentage. It's, you know, it's really high. So there's no like, oh my god, you beat him at like 10%. It's nothing like that. But yeah, I only played like, I think two matches, maybe three with the kid. Because at first he played Mario and I'm just like, okay, here we go. We got another Mario. And I too stocked him, like, around 30%, and I'm just like, ah, maybe he, you know, just having a bad game. And then he picked another character, which was Bowser, and I'm just like, okay. And he got me to about 70%, but I too stocked him again. I'm like, oh, you know, it's going to be one of these things. And then the last match before he left, um, I was just messing around because I'm like, you know, he's not really that good. I can see that now. And I jumped off the stage and he down or he um he side aired me which for mario that's like a meteor smash or meteor spike and he destroyed me and i'm like oh and i'm like okay i understand but yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoy i can't believe i beat a beta that's probably my most exciting thing but if you like the video smash that like king ddd i'm crimson red signing out yeah.